Yeah, it's not the end of the world plate, uh, but, but this is really why everything's in the charts. Technical analysis is so important. Just taking a look at Luna here. Well, let's just start with, I'm going to show you what I found and how I found it and my ways of going about this. You'll see how my time frames are staggered. So always horizontals first. Nothing on the yearly, nothing on the six month. And here you see this three month quarterly level. Perfectly respected there, okay? Uh, going down in time frame right here. We can take a look. And we really want to hone this in perfectly. What's that? 0 0.3618. Okay. Let's get that dead on right there. It's not the end of the world. And for you volume profile people out there, if we were to take a global volume of Luna, you're going to see how skewed off this is. Okay, you're going to see that this is showing it's not accurate, okay? Because this massive drop here, this is going to be the value area low. Now, you can't do it this way. You need to come over here from there. And now this is the correct pull. You can get it, you can hone it in a little better if you want to go on lower time frames. But you can see that as soon as it back tested this for two weeks in a row, we shot up. And we are at a bit of resistance right here. Um, but I do think that we will see a dollar 90-ish or so. Um, bulls may push this to two dollars. And then, uh, and if we were to clear this, then you know, um, then there's higher. Um, so yeah, unfortunately this this pretty solid bit of confluence right here did stop it dead in its tracks. I mean, just perfectly to the to the exact. I mean, <laughs> doesn't get more perfect than that. So um, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Let's look at, take a look at PRQ. I think I was looking at on the KuCoin chart. Yeah, so I will agree with Fritz that there is, this is a nice, uh, after, um, I'd like to see a little bit more, you know, content, I guess, um, I guess it's, it's, it's proved it's, it's, it's worth after backtesting this point of control. Um, but definitely good risk or reward here. As you can see, uh, we'd be expecting this value area high. And we can set our stop loss. Um, if you want to be really, like, I guess, conservative, um, I'm just going to tell you what I would do. Below this wick right here, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to give myself enough room to cover this wick and bring it to where we can see a little bit of support here. So we still have a nice five to one risk of reward trade. Um, but just covering that wick is just good enough. You know, you don't want to have your stop loss at the point of control right here because um, uh, we can still come back through and retest it, you know. So just a thing to think about. And also for PRQ, um, we could have, this bottom was actually very easy to uh, spot. Um, you can pause the video. Actually, I'll take a screenshot of this right quick and show you. That way I can post it in the group showing where I think we'll we'll see this nice confluence here. Global Bay Area High. Um, CC aligns really nicely. And uh, just to show you, it's a nice impulsive candle right there from the pull. That's, that's the correct pull. So let's take a screenshot of this. And clear this chart right quick. Okay. I want to show you how we could have very nicely found this bottom here. So, essentially, here's where our, where our bottom was. You know, we had this. And then once we lost this, you know, it's just discovery for price action. You know, people probably gave up on this. And really, all, all you had to do was pull this Fibonacci expansion from here. Up to this high. Right there. And take a look at this Fibonacci expansion. Boom. Beautiful. 
test of this. I mean, actually, actually, I think right here is the better pull. I think the four on four hits it better there. No, I think I do like it right there. Loaded that high. Yep. That two seven two held. Now the one the one to one one three three right here um, had a little bit of holding, but then we fell through ultimately. With these two successful back tests and this green candle up, I've been a good, nice long entry there. You know. But yeah, that's that. Um, what else? Uh, I could just pick a coin at random, I guess, maybe. Let's, let's see if we have anything here in the group. Someone says anything else. If I, just the first coin I see. Link, PRQ, H, and T. Let's, let's take a look at Helium. Helium. Do I have it in here? Here is Superior. Actually, I saw GRT earlier. Let's take a look at that. Um, I already have a chart for it. Okay. Dang, that's nice. Okay, so. First things first. Nice. Went right through that. No monthlies. No weekly levels coming up. I think helium. I mean, GRT. It's primed to make some nice upper gains. Let's see. Oops, sorry. Yeah, GRT as well. By testing its global opponent control to make a move upward. Yeah, and that is multiple weeks there on its way up. Is that a. Oh, those are not. See, this bit of volume right here, it's one thing we have to take a look at. Here, there. Not, not extend this right quick. Okay, so it's above the, the point of control for this area, so. Let's move this bit just a bit. Yeah, that's nice. I think you have this nice little volume note here where we can see. Let's take a bit pull from this impulsive candle right quick. Uh, it's coming to a CC right there, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think, let's take a look at the 786. Yeah, I think, I think we cleared the CC right here. We do have to be concerned about these two levels, but not really so much. Yeah, the CC is really all that matters there, in my opinion. It's an easy long here. We'll set this below, um, just below the POC, you know, in case it wants to come back down and test. It's a 15 to 1 risk of reward right there, Trey. Really nice. Yeah, 287% up. Almost a 3x, you know. So, there's that as well. And so, I'll go ahead and cut this video out now, and uh, I will post that PRQ chart. And I also will post this as well for GRT. Um, I go a little bit lower than that point of control. What's it look like on the monthly? Yeah, he has such a good risk and reward there. Why not just, you know, here we so just just in case. I'm just more conservative that in that sense. Okay, two minute video, not too bad. So, if you guys enjoyed it.